Good morning, folks. There were no major earthquakes in the last day. Most significant was not even the highest magnitude, a five-pointer in the South Atlantic. The winter storms continue in Europe. This helical cloud motion with the low pressure is still dragging Arctic air over the mainland, and it will continue to snow as temperatures fall even further. Pressure dictates thunderstorm watch zones from the north coast around the sides. Tonight and tomorrow's warnings fit the mold. Also going to warm up the next few days as well. Yesterday I missed the fact that they did indeed name this winter storm. Caesar was next on the list. It was easy to see this record snowfall coming across the northern Midwest. When we look at the pressure map you see a large low but drawn out to create a whole line of convergence. 24 hour temperature delta shows just how oppositely the sides of the low draw in the air. Quickly looking at the North Pacific, got an enormous low but more north than before. There was a gamma burst last night from the constellation Aquarius. The Bartol muon monitor still reads higher than normal cosmic ray density. Looking at the three-day solar wind telemetry from Soho, you can see the weak impact taking us from quieter than quiet space weather to moderate work by our protective shield. The tiniest induction is all he let occur, and no plasma was able to penetrate. Flaring may be on the rise as the C5 just came out of our newcomers. You remember these active regions were born in front of our eyes and they do appear ready to rock. See the dark umbra here? In that top right region, the blue and red in the center are trying to make a delta spot, damn near on the way too. The trailing spot on the left is about 24 hours behind in development. Noah, you will need to upgrade these classifications tonight. We shouldn't see just alphas and betas when we wake up tomorrow. North of those active regions is a mid-sized coronal hole directly Earth-facing today. On the southern limb, top right, we have the largest of the thin plasma filaments, which are a constant threat for eruption. And on the left, you see a larger coronal hole. Not a full quake watch, but the sun says absolute quiet is unlikely as well. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.